This is probably the best DC movie I've seen since The Dark Knight. Thank you. I'm blushing super hard under the mask. Batman. Pray God. Thanks, Batman. Welcome back, guys. I just got back from watching the Lego Batman movie. And to be honest, I feel like I got those nine abs that Batman has after all the laughing I did. Batman obviously was the best thing about this movie. Will Ornette's voice for this movie was amazing. I mean, he was just perfect as a Batman. Now, he is cocky, he is full of himself, and he acts like he needs no one's help to clean up Gotham City's villains. But the Joker is there to remind him like, hey, you need me. You need me in order to beat the Dark Knight. Without me, you're nothing. But of course, Batman being Batman, he's just full of himself, tells him like, hey, you know what? I don't need you at all, which was probably like one of the funniest bromances that I've seen in a while. The Joker actually surprised me because I didn't know he was voiced by Zach Galifianakis and like the opening scenes in the movie with the airplane and all that stuff was hilarious. Michael Cera voiced Robin and he took me by surprise as well because I didn't know that was Michael Cera until I actually like tuned in and then I read in IMBD that that was him and I was like oh my god like that's that is definitely him but the funny thing is like Michael Cera is not like a guy to be like super like colorful and like out there so like seeing his voice portray this character as robin was really funny and also he was kind of flamboyant so i'm not sure if like i was the only one that caught that also bane in this movie even though he wasn't like a big part of the movie at all there were like random one-liners that he would get during like the movie and i would just catch that and i would just like laugh because his voice was like almost perfect it almost reminded me of like that tom hardy voice or at least they were going for it the whole batman and robin father and son scenario thing worked very well in this movie they even include a bit with the justice league which I wish they would have included a little bit more, but I feel like it would have just been too much for a Batman solo movie in a way, so. Hmm. Also, the animation of this movie was great. It was just like the Lego movie. I still don't know which one I like better. They were still, they're still up there for me. This movie felt like I was in a fight with a Tekko monster and I was getting my ass beat because I was laughing really hard at points, but it, sometimes I kind of miss jokes, so I kind of had to like try not to laugh because I would miss a lot of the jokes. Which isn't a bad thing, it's a good problem to have. But there were times where I would just be like, wait, like what? What did he say? The movie does slow down at points whenever they try to do like the whole like father-son thing or like the bromance thing. But then it picks right back up whenever they start throwing in their like one-liner jokes. What I also really enjoyed was like the jokes that he included referencing back to like the old Batman days. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys know, but like the original Batman were with the whole shark repellent, the bat nipples, the dark knight. I mean, they just reference a whole ton of stuff. And it's great to watch because I'm pretty sure a lot of the batman fans out there are gonna love those bits also they make a reference to suicide squad i'm not gonna give the joke away but i lost it when they included that section i thought it was hilarious this movie did a great job in including jokes for both the kids and the adult so i thought that was pretty neat because they had the whole theater in like laughter like this is, movie is for anybody that likes superheroes to be honest in which case they actually take a shot at marvel which is actually pretty good i hope you guys have had a chance to watch this movie over the weekend or like if you've already seen a bunch of the other reviews then i'm pretty sure you know what you're getting into i personally like this movie as much as i did the lego movie so i'm going to give it a four out of five this is probably like the easiest movie review i've done all you got to do is go in and have a blast also make sure to stay during like the end credits because they start singing and there's a scene where batman starts to drop some bars which is pretty funny so guys if you guys have seen the movie let me know what you guys thought about it let me know what's your like your favorite joke or like your favorite reference to like the older batman movies because i thought that was pretty clever so guys if you like this quick review make sure to share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up also if you guys like the content that i do make sure to subscribe to my channel and until next time stay tuned